Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another episode of Android Development Tips. And I am sure that this video will help you a lot in debugging your applications. If you are not already aware about the thing that I am going to tell you in this video. Imagine when you work with SQLite or Room database. We don't have any direct way to visually see the database that is being created. Or when you are working with some REST API calls, you simply don't see what is happening actually. You don't see your request body, you don't see what response you are getting from the API. So this way debugging becomes a little difficult. So today in this video, I will tell you how you can make your life easier while debugging your Android applications. So let's start. So I was talking about Facebook Stetho library and it helps us in debugging our applications. So let's see how we can use it. So I have downloaded my own project that is the Android MVVM application and here I added the Facebook Stetho library. So again to add any library we go to build.gradle file and inside dependencies block I have added these two dependencies so i have the first implementation of stetho and the next implementation of stetho ok stdp so it will work with retrofit as well now to make it work you need to initialize this library in your main application class so our main class is the mvvm application class and inside this class I overridden this function that is the onCreate and inside onCreate we called this line we don't need the semicolon so we call stetho then initialize with defaults and we pass the context so stetho is initialized now if you want to debug your network calls as well you need to add a network interceptor in your retrofit instance so let's see how we can do this thing as well so we need to go inside our api interface that is inside the network package and we have my api interface now what i did is i added one more interceptor and this time it is a network interceptor so we call the function in our ok http client dot builder and we called this function that is add network interceptor and here we are passing stetho interceptor now this way we can debug or see all the network calls that are happening in our application so let's see how we can debug it so first run the application so this is our application now we want to debug it so we will open google chrome and here we will go to the address that is chrome then colon then double forward slash and inspect we need to open this address when you open it you will see your device so you can see we have the android sdk built for x86 here now from here we can inspect our application so click here and it will open a new window and from here you can inspect the network calls for example if I open the quotes fragment you can see a network call is being made and here we call this URL that is api.simplifiedcoding.in courses APIs and MVVM and you can also see the call in detail you can see the method is get the status we got was 200 type is application json and all the other things like what time it took for the api call if you click here you can see more details you can also see the response that we got from the api call we can see the headers we can see the preview then response and cookies etc so we can see all the things related to network calls and one more very useful thing we have here is we have this resource tab and here we can see our local storage and we can also see our local database so in my current application i have created this database that was my database.db and here we can see all the tables and 
we can see visually all the tables the table structure and all the informations that we have inside our table and the best thing is we can also test our sql queries in our database for example if we want to execute select star from quote then we can do this thing as well you can see we can see our database that we got from this query so it helps a lot in debugging so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends in case you have any problem or question you can leave your comments below thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off